Welcome in. 반갑습니다. 좋은 아침이에요. It's 7 a.m. in Korea, Seoul, South Korea, right now, and we are about to start today's live Korean class. And this is my last April class. And next week we have a different schedule, so you will start seeing me on Monday mornings at 7 a.m. All right, so if you guys are ready, let's learn some Korean vocabulary words that are related to th the things that you do in the morning. And if you're watching this after the live session is over, you can find all the necessary timestamps in the first pinned comment down below in the comment section. And everything I type here will be also in the video description after or right after the session is over. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. 들어오세요. <sighs> Julika, what time did you get up? You said that you woke up very early. 그리고 K Crusher 37, you haven't had your coffee yet. What time is it over there? 지금 몇 시인가요? 아직 커피 안 마셨어요? 저는 커피 마셨어요. 네. 이따가 한잔더 마실 건데 일단 조금 마셨어요. 웨일즈에서 인사를 하시는 Film 42 TV. 네. Welcome back. 어제 한국 시간으로 제가 4시에 수업했죠, 4시. 그리고 오늘 아침 7시. 한국은 날이 바뀌었는데 거기는 아직 같은 날이죠. Um, so some of you guys were or many of you guys were in the live session yesterday in Korean time at 4 p.m. Now it's the next day at 7 a.m. and for you guys it's the same day, isn't it? 네. <laughs> uh, Lee Rose, um, thank you for waking up so early uh, and thank you for the dedication to teach Korean. 사랑해. I really want to buy a book but I can't see in Kupang. Thank you for your comment. Um, yeah, we don't. Uh, I don't think we have uh, our books on Kupang, but we do have our books here, right here. You can't click on it, but you can. It's an easy address to remember. Talk to me in Korean.com/store. You can browse our books. Um, so thank you so much, everyone, for joining in. And today we will be talking about things you do in the morning, like from the moment you wake up and, you know, after you wake up, you do things before you get ready for the day, right? Okay, um, good. And um, I will be covering some basic vocabulary words that are introduced in our book. My Daily Korean Routine. My Daily Korean Routine. This book covers some fundamental, some essential activities that you do on a daily basis. But even if you don't have the book, you can still learn with this class. And um, if you have it, you can bring it here. Okay? So today, let's start with um, this one. Waking up. So. Um, I will type everything here so you don't have to worry about taking notes but if you want to, if you learn better by taking your own notes, please do and share your notes. Take a picture of your notes, your notebook and share it on Instagram via story or a regular post and tag us so that we can see it. As you know, we love seeing your notes, note taking skills and your progress so share everything with us, okay? By the way, if you're wondering who's on the Talk To Me In Korean Twitter account and also on the Instagram account, it's me. <laughs> I'm there um, managing those two accounts, although I'm not doing it like all day long. I usually go in three times a day, once in the morning, once around noon, and once at night to see how things are with you guys. Okay, so. Today we are covering some basic vocabulary related to waking up or things you do in the morning. Okay, so right here on page 9 of my daily routine in Korean, um, let me type everything for you. And if you have um, some expressions you want to be able to say in Korean that I don't cover yet, 
please let me know and I will get back to you um, and your questions, okay? So, first of all, this on this page we have a range of activities. I'll type everything in clockwise. 시계 방향으로 반시계 방향으로 um, clockwise, counterclockwise. Maybe these words, these expressions are new for some people. 시계 is clock, 방향 is direction, 으로 in a certain direction or in using a tool. So 시계 방향으로, clockwise, 반 is opposite. You say 반대말, 반대말, opposite words, antonyms. So 반시계 방향으로. This 반 doesn't mean half. This means opposite. So 반시계 방향으로 is counterclockwise. Okay, so 시계 방향으로 um, 일어나다 to wake up. I will also type this too. Clockwise, counterclockwise. Uh, I'm not sure if I have if I type if I need hyphens here, but you know you you get the meaning. Um, 일어나다, to wake up, and 햇빛이 들어오다, the sunlight comes in, 눈이 부시다, to be dazzling or too bright. Can you see everything well? Okay. 눈을 비비다, to rub one's eyes. 하품하다, to yawn. 기지개를 켜다. 기지개를 켜다 is to stretch. Um, when you're after getting up, or when you are, yeah, after getting up, usually after waking up from sleep, and 알림 알람이 울리다. The alarm goes off. Okay. Ah, okay. I don't need hyphens. All right. Cool. Uh, here and 눈이 떠지다. Eyes open. Okay. <laughs> How to say come back to sleep or go back to sleep? You you know the alarm goes off. 알람이 울렸는데 너무 졸려요. 아직 너무 졸려요. You're still too sleepy. So, 다시 자다. <laughs> to go back to sleep. Okay. So, these are the phrases that are introduced on page 9 of this book. Um, things related to um, things you do in the morning, right after you wake up. Oh, 알람이 울리다 is um, the alarm goes off. 알람을 끄다 to turn off the alarm. Easy, 끄다. You can use 끄다 for anything that you turn off. Wake up late. 늦게 일어나다 to wake up late. Oops. Ah. 잠이 깨다. To yeah, so 잠이 깨다. Let me let me explain this a little bit. Okay, so here because uh, somebody wrote how to say to be woken up. Okay, to be woken up. To be woken up by somebody. Um, I have a question coming in from Kim Songmin 선생님 in Europe. 유럽에서 한국어를 소그룹으로 가르치려는데 선생님의 교재를 이용해도 되겠습니까? 네, 물론입니다. 네, 이용하셔도 됩니다. Yeah, you can of course use our books to teach small groups of students and of course large groups of students as well. We welcome that. Um, recently we had uh, some universities actually adding groups of students to our website um, as um, registered users because they are looking for alternative class methods, so that's good. More and more people are adopting our textbooks and also our website 
in their organized education institutions. So that's amazing. How do you say, okay, so I, I will get back to your questions uh, a little later. Um, but let, I think I'll have to explain the difference between these two and then we'll make some sentences using these really quickly and I will go over to another page where we can look at some other expressions, okay? Um, here, 일어나다 and 잠이 깨다. 일어나다 is you wake up and you get out of bed, you get up, okay? 일어나다. It's a very neutral phrase. So somebody can ask you, uh, 몇 시에 일어났어요? What time did you get up? Um, for, okay, um, <clears throat> for ease of, <clears throat> sorry, to make it easier for me to actually put this in the description, I will copy and paste it. 복사해서 붙여넣을게요. I already did. <laughs> 몇 시에 일어났어요? What time did you get up? So when you say, um, what time did you get up? This is what you say. Um, 몇 시에 일어났어요? 몇 시에 일어났어요? 일어나다 also is used for things that take place, things that happen, like accidents or incidents. 무슨 일이 일어났어요? What happened? So it can only be, yeah, you have to look at the context. But 잠이 깨다 is, look, look at the expression. 잠 is sleep, your, you know, sleep. 깨다 means it also has the sense of like breaking something. In this case, it's not in the 깨지다 form, in the passive form, so it's a little bit different, but it's along the same lines. 잠이 깼어요. So it was ab abruptly ended. 잠이 깼어요. Maybe because of a noise that you heard or something. Um, last night, my wife and I, 잠이 깼어요. Because, uh, at, at around 2 a.m. So this was about like five hours ago. My little one, um, he, I think he had an itch on his uh, hand. Maybe there was a mosquito or something like that. Um, and then he had a nightmare, I think. So combined, he was like really scared that there might be something in the room, like a bug. So he was crying a little bit. So we were 잠이 깼어요. So that describes 잠이 깨다 really well, so it was interrupted. Your, yeah, your sleep was interrupted. 잠이 깼어요. So, 그냥 잠이 깼어요. Uh, like, I don't know. Like somebody asks you, why, why are you up this early? Um, I just woke up. Or, uh, 소음 때문에 잠이 깼어요. I was awaken. Is this the correct form? Awaken. Um, I was awaken by the noise. Yeah. Awoken. Okay. I was awoken. <laughs> Sometimes I get confused. <laughs> to be waken up or to uh, to be awoken, right? Awakened. Awakened. Okay. You, you get the idea, but <laughs> you're helping me out here. So I was awakened by the noise. So 잠이 깼어요. So when you talk about when your eyes just kind of naturally opened up and when you looked at the clock, it's 7 a.m., 6 a.m., you can say 6시에 잠이 깼어요. But normally when you're talking about like 아침에 몇 시에 일어나세요, what time do you get up in the morning? You use this one. So this is about how your sleep sleep session ended, usually abruptly, because of a noise, some kind of element of interruption, okay? All right, that's the difference. 햇빛이 들어와요. You can say 햇빛이, 이 방은 아침에 햇빛이 잘 들어와요. 
This room is well lit in the morning. Um, the sunlight comes in, or a lot of sunlight comes in to the into this room. 아침에 in the morning. Um, 이 방은 아침에 햇빛이 잘 들어와요. Like a lot of um, real estate agents might say this when you're looking at some new places, you know. Uh, 이 방은 햇빛이 잘 들어와요. Okay. Is everybody following um, all the sentences really well? Okay. All right. Cool. 눈이 부시다. 눈이 부시다 is a set expression to um, mean it's too bright. So right now the lights are here as you can as you probably know I mentioned it several times without the lights it's so dark because of the bright screen behind me so 눈이 부시다 so I can say ah 눈이 부셔요 눈이 부셔요 눈이 부셔요 it's too bright or 눈 너무 눈이 너무 부셔요 it's the same thing because 눈이 부시다 already means it's too bright so Adding nomu doesn't change the translation. Um, and nomu nunbu shoyo. You can put nomu in front of it to just put nun and pushida together. Um, you can say it's okay to say nomu nuni pushoyo too. So I think I mentioned the same message yesterday. If you know how to say this, definitely try something a little bit different while maintaining the same meaning. Um, this is how you will become more fluid, more flexible with your sentences, okay? Try different things, and uh, if something doesn't work, you will f find out about it because other people will probably say, oh, it's not the natural way to say it, or they will not understand it, so you will find out one way or another. 좋아요. 눈이 부셔요. 그리고 눈 부시다. Like here, dazzling, just like with the English expression, when somebody is beautiful, like really dazzling, you can say 눈부셔요 too. Uh, 눈부시게 아름다워요. It's so beautiful here, 아름다워요, that it's dazzling. Like you can't open your eyes, you can't keep your eyes open because it's, it's exuding so much beauty. So yeah, 눈부시게 아름다워요. All right, cool. All right. Um, if you, I, I don't have a mod with me right now. I don't have a moderator, so I will be looking at some spam comments a little late, but I, I can just easily click on a button to, um, I don't know, like put somebody in a timeout. So uh, please don't spam. And uh, I know this is a very friendly chat room. Please don't spam. Um, and if I don't see something, I will try to, Look at it later, okay? Cool. Um, 눈이 부셔요. 눈이 부시다 is the dictionary form. And 눈이 부셔요 is the um, present tense. All right. Cool. And let's look at the next expression. 눈을 비비다. 눈을 비비다. To rub your eyes. So when you wake up in the morning, 눈을 비벼요. It's probably not a good idea to do it too often, you know. It, your eyes can be infected. But 눈을 비비다. 눈을 비벼요. 눈을 비볐어요. Okay. Um, Iron Fist, thank you for the super chat comment. Uh, you can be a moderator. You're here all the time. Well, um, thank you for your offer. We have our usually the staff members as moderators so yeah we don't need an outside moderator right now but i really really appreciate your generosity and your attendance 감사합니다 그리고 눈을 비비다 so in this case it means rubbing right 비볐어요 so you are washing your hands and then you use soap and then 손을 비벼요 like this right 손을 비벼요 잘 비비세요 but 비비다 
Do you, can you guess where else bibida is used in a Korean dish name? Bibida. Yes, bibimbap. Daniel, you are the first person to write the correct answer. Yeah, bibida. <laughs> Bibigo is not a Korean dish name. It's a brand name. <laughs> yeah, Bibigo, um, if you look at the brand name or the product name, Bibida is to mix or rub, and Bibigo is like you rub or mix and it's a cute sounding expression so they i think they are using it as their brand name which is a good name pbgo you can say pbgo you mix it and mokgo right so bibimbap you can see a clear similarity between pibida and pibida for bibimbap all right okay next we have a lot of expressions that we still need to cover on this list and we will cover some more so here these are uh, easy to understand hapum 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 so i don't know if it's the original um, official word origin of hapum um, it probably isn't but you can remember hapum as which means to yawn like ah uh, um, imagine you or yourself doing hapum and you kind of make this hapum sound let's all yawn together um this is not probably not a good idea when you're having a class and i'm asking the students to yawn <laughs> which might be an indicator of a boring class but let's do it like <laughs> hapum you you yawn and kind of make this sound right hapum right so it's very easy to remember this word. Is it? 쉬운가요? 네, 쉽게 이해되나요? 이해됐죠? <laughs> Everybody's like yawning together. I heard that yawning can be contagious and I didn't know it would be contagious through live sessions. <laughs> Even talking about uh, yawning can make you yawn. It's, it's crazy. This is the first time in your life that you yawned together with how many people? 500 other people around the globe all together. Group effort. Nice. We consumed more oxygen all together. Sanso. Oxygen is sanso. Nice. <laughs> so, I think it's the sa same with English, like you, you go like yawn, but hapum hapum. I think people make different sounds uh, when they hapum. So hapum hapum haji maseyo. Don't yawn. Suap shigane. Oops, why? why um, my keyboard. Suap shigane. Don't yawn in the class or during the class. All right. 기지개를 켜다. This expression is often misused by native speakers. Native speakers um, who are kids usually. 기지개를 켜다. The correct expression used after 기지개. 기지개 is stretching when you are just out of bed when you just woke up you're like ah you, you, 기지개를 켜다 of course you can say 기지개를 켜다 when you have been working really hard at your desk and you need to stretch your body decompress 기지개를 켜다 라고 말할 수 있어요 그런데 어, it's usually 보통은 아침에 일어났을 때 하는 말이고 기지개를 켜다 라고 하는 사람도 많아요 기지개를 펴다. Because 기지개 is the noun. It's a noun for stretching your body, right? Uh, but 펴다 also kind of makes sense if you think about it. 접었어요, 폈어요, unfold. 접어요, fold, unfold, 펴요. 이불을 펴요. You unfold your blankets. 
So as a kid, I also said this kijigeru kyada because kyada didn't seem very intuitive to me. So so kijigeru kyada uh, is often used. Timo, uh, sugimo. Since you have been spamming everyone, I think I have to address this. Um, what I say late in Korea, um, of course, uh, you, you, I think you mean how to say late in Korean. I don't know whether you have studied with the uh, basic grammar lessons, but late, you can't just learn the word for late. You can't do anything with it. Late is, or to be late is nuta. You need to know how to conjugate it into the sentence like 늦어요, 늦었어요, or the modifier form 늦은. So I don't know whether you can use that information, but um, this is very common among uh, people who are just beginning to learn a new language. Um, maybe especially if it's if if the Korean language is their is their first foreign language. Um, you can't just take one word or one piece of information and think that you know it because there's a different system of conjugation. When your first foreign language or your mother tongue is English and your first foreign language is uh, Spanish, it's relatively easy um, because you can say, oh, this adjective is this word in Spanish and you can just keep mostly keep the same sentence structure. This is easy. This is facile. It's like the same spot, same slot is there. But in Korean or when you move over to um, Chinese or um, Korean or Japanese, it's an entirely different system. So I would say if you don't know uh, how to say late, I would say you need to study how to say I am so-and-so first or this is so-and-so first. Yeah, that's what I want to say. I can, I can, of course, give you all the words you need. I can be the dictionary and give you all just, just a list of all the words, but it won't help you in any way. And for everyone, um, of, of course, I'm not roast. I'm not roasting. I'm not hating on you. I'm just giving you friendly advice on learning a new language. By the time or using the time that you could type the repeated question in the chat room, you can easily look it up in a dictionary, right? It's, it's better for you. It's better for everyone. It's better for me, right? Uh, I'm just being a friendly teacher. Don't hate me. <laughs> So I'm being realistic. So uh, yeah, that's it. Cool. Alami ulida. Alami ulida is the next expression. The alarm goes off. Alami. Sebon ulasa. The alarm went off three times. Let me introduce a very fun um, particle that you can use here. Alami, 세번 울렸어. Instead of saying just 세번, when you want to emphasize the fact that it went off as many as three times. With a little hint of uh, frustration, you can say 알람이 세번이나 울렸어. Here, you add 이나. Okay, I will make it less confusing by removing the quotation marks. Alami 세 번이나 울렸어요. 이나 or 나 is used when you want to show frustration or surprise. Like 세개 샀어요. I bought 3. 세개 샀어요. You bought 3. And then you can express your surprise or despair by 세개 나 
and the translation would be something like this. What? You bought three? 세개 나 샀어요? Um, usually, 나 or 이나 is used. So when the noun before 나 is ending without a 받침, the last consonant, you put 나. When there's a 받침, you put 이나. So, 세개 나 샀어요? What? You bought three? So, 알람이 세 번이나 울렸어요. When you have a roommate or your family members who had to suffer because you couldn't hear the alarm going off, they can say, they can complain. 알람이 세 번이나 울렸어요. Hmm. All right. 알람을 끄다. Fairly easy to understand. 알람을 껐어요. I turned off the alarm. Here, 눈이 떠지다. Okay, this is also a good one. 눈을 뜨다 is to open one's eyes. 눈을 뜨다. 눈을 뜨다. 눈을 뜨세요. Open your eyes. 눈을 뜨세요. 눈을 뜨고 있으세요. Keep your eyes open. 눈을 감다, so 감으세요. Close your eyes. So those are some expressions, but here, 눈을 뜨다 is when you open your eyes. 떠지다 is the passive voice. The eyes were just opened. You, you didn't even try to open your eyes. You didn't even try to get up, get out of bed. But for some reason, magically, automatically, naturally, your eyes just opened up. 눈이 떠졌어요. So you can say A and say 왜? 왜 그렇게 일찍 일어났어요? Why did you wake up so early? 모르겠어요. I don't know. 그냥 눈이 일찍, 일찍 is early. 눈이 떠졌어요. I don't know. I just woke up early. I just, my eyes opened up early. Um, could you say that your eyes opened up in a shocking situation? 눈이 떠졌어요. 눈이, hmm. Well, you could, but it's not the most common usage. You can say, um, 눈이, you can say 눈이 커졌어요. 눈이 커졌어요. Your eyes became bigger when you're, you were in a situation where you're shocked. 눈이, yeah, usually 눈이 떠졌어요. 그냥 눈이 떠졌어요. 아침에 저절로 눈이 떠졌어요. 다시 자다, to sleep again, go back to sleep. Oh, um, Tiffany, 떠지다, I think you're talking about 떠지다 is not to explode. Uh, here, 떠지다, 떠지다 is to naturally, usually eyes open. 떠지다 is to explode. Let me compare the pronunciation. 떠지다, 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 떠졌어. <laughs> 눈이 터졌어요. You can't say that. Um, if, I, I think you need to really be careful. 눈이 터졌어요. If you say that. 똑같아요? Okay. 다르게 만들어 드릴게요. I'll make them sound different. 떠, 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 떠. Okay? 떠, 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 떠. Mm. Don't want to say 눈이 터졌어요. My eyes exploded. You never say that. 눈이 떠졌어요. 눈이 터졌어요. <웃음> the mouth shape, the tongue position are exactly the same between the two. You just pronounce this a little higher pitched, a little stronger. 떠지다. 터지다. If you're not sure about the difference between these two expressions, maybe avoid saying for avoiding, avoid saying this for a while until you get this correctly. Excuse me. <clears throat> you can maybe say what Habin said. 
By the way, Habin was the first person to arrive this morning for the class. 머리가 터졌어요. <laughs> 머리 터지겠어요. Head is about to ex explode because of something that's difficult that you need to understand. That's, a, that's an expression that actually exists. The consonant here, mm. double tigut, sang tigut, is stronger than ta ta ta. Okay? <laughs> Victoria, good public announcement. Um, please wake up carefully. Don't explode your eyes, guys. Yeah. Okay. 늦게 일어나다. I think I already mentioned this earlier. Um, so that's it for the waking up part. Any questions you have? Is there any questions you want to ask me about waking up? How do you how do you say this? How do you say that in Korean? When you wake up. Aha. Uh -huh. 일어나. Get up. 일어나. 일어나다. To wake up. And morning routine. Morning routine. 아니, 아, or 아침에 일어나면 항상 하는 일들. 하는, 하는 일. Things that you do always when you wake up. But people say the expression morning routine these days. Uh, 나, 늦잠을 자다. To sleep in. You know, you wake up a little late. 늦잠을 자다. You, you can say 늦잠을 잘 거예요. You are going to, you plan to sleep in. So I think there's a little bit of difference. Um, Emma, I got you first. <laughs> um, blink. 눈을 깜빡이다. 눈을 깜빡이다. 깜빡, 깜빡, 깜빡. Because of this 깜빡이다 expression, we call the turn signals on a car 깜빡이, 깜빡이. You know, because they blink, blink, 깜빡이. I think I mentioned this uh, in a previous video somewhere. Um, when you go to a Korean shopping mall, a big one, you see all the, the parking slots almost full on a Sunday or something, and the parking agents, people who are working in the parking lots, they will point at certain directions, and they will do this. And maybe you will think that this is a way to greet people, but it's not. It means turn on your hazards. 깜빡, 깜빡. 깜빡이 켜세요. Turn on your hazards to indicate that you are intending to park. They're not like, hey, hello, customers. <laughs> They're like, turn on the hazards. 깜빡, 깜빡, 깜빡. All right. Um, mm, morning person is not 아침 사람. It's 아침형 인간. Uh, this was imported from Japan when a bestseller book from Japan coined this term 아침형 인간. And this kind of translated into Korean very quickly. So 아침형 인간. Uh, to have insomnia is... Uh, 불면증이 있다. 불면증이 있어요. 불면증. 증 is used with diseases or symptoms. 면 is from 수면, which is a formal word for sleep. 불 is not, so not sleep symptom, so insomnia. Nightmare is 악몽. 몽 is from the Chinese character for dream. 악 is evil, bad. So 악몽, 악몽 is so the pronunciation is 악몽. Uh, it's nightmare. So 악몽을 꾸다. To, to dream a nightmare. A nightmare, uh, no, a night person is 저녁형 인간. 형 is, I'm giving you a lot of information right here. Um, 저녁형, 형 is not older brother. It means type. Just like in 혈액형, blood type. Sleep paralysis, 가위. Good ones. So I don't think I'll have to cover any more pages on this book. By the way, the book that we are covering is My Daily Routine in Korean. And you have all these like really cute 
drawings like that. And I was gonna, maybe I'll do this um, some other time, but I have so many questions coming in. Really good ones too. Oh, what's the, yeah, what's the last one? And I was going to, yeah, sleep paralysis. Kawi. Scissors, just a coincidence. Kawi, kawi dulida. To have a sleep paralysis, like some people don't understand. My, my mom, who is nearing 70 years old, she has never had a sleep paralysis. She doesn't understand me when I say, oh, kawi She She doesn't know what it is. It's a blessing, I think. I had so many kawis when I was in high school. I could even, yeah, I mean, I had so many instances where I was so, like, suffering so much from kawi. So, kawi nullida. Nullida. Nuruda is to, to press. Nullida is to be pressed. So, kawi nullida. You are pressed by something. It doesn't mean scissors. But if it helps you understand or memorize the expression, that's good. Um, yeah, it's all related to stress, I think. And my mom, Daniela, yes, I think she's lucky that she's never had kawi, but I was frustrated when I was trying to explain to her what I experienced, and she's like, oh, you were tired. <laughs> she's a great person, she's a great mom, but only when it comes to kawi, she does not understand me. Uh, okay, sleepwalking. Mong Yu Pyong. Pyong is also used for diseases or mm, sicknesses. Just like Chung Chung is, I think, yeah, similar. So Pyong is a disease. Yu is moving around. Mong is sleep. So sleep, moving around, Pyong. Mong Yu Pyong. Mong Yu Pyong is the Sleepwalk. Aha. Uh -huh. I have been awake for 24 hours in Korean. It's um, okay. I have been. It's not healthy. I've done that many times when I was younger. 저는 지금 24시간째 깨어 있어요. 째, 째. Very important word. Please repeat after me. 제, 제, 제. We're not talking about 저 아이, that guy, that girl. You can say 제 too. Like the pronunciation at least is the same. Uh, but 제 is when you are counting uh, like ordinarily. Like 첫 번째, the first. 두 번째, the second. 세 번째, 네 번째, 다섯 번째. The first item, second item, third item, fourth item, fifth item. 첫째, 둘째, 셋째, 넷째, 다섯째. When you are, when you have several points to deliver in speech, you can say 첫째, 둘째, 셋째. And when you talk about children, 첫째, 둘째. I'm a 첫째, the first child that my parents had. Uh, I have two other younger sisters, two younger sisters. So 둘째, 셋째, 첫째, 둘째, 셋째. So that's 째. That's what 째 means. It's like kind of like the ST at the end of first or third, RD, right? 24시간째. This is the 24th hour that I am awake. 3년째. This is the third year that I've been doing this, um, etc. Okay? Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, 지금 means uh, now. The longest time I went without sleeping was crazy, like, I think 50 something hours. I did that once and I'm never going to do that again. It's not healthy for you. You start seeing things. Okay. Mm-hmm. 쉽게 깨는 사람, somebody who wakes up easily. 아하, 잠기가 밝아요, 잠기가 어두워요. 잠이, 잠이 잘 
깨요. 잠이 쉽게 깨요. Some easy expressions to understand. Okay, snoring. I will mention that. 잠 is sleep. 귀 is ear. 잠귀. Not 잠귀. 잠귀. It's pronounced like that. 잠귀. 잠귀가 밝아요. Your sleep ears are bright, sensitive. So you hear things and you are um, easily, you're easy to get up. And 잠귀가 어두워요. Your, you, can't, you can't hear things when you're sleeping. 잠, 잠이 잘 깨요. You wake up from sleep easily. 잠이 쉽게 깨요. Easily. Okay? Uh, snore is 코, 코를 골아요. 코를 골다. 코, 여러분은 코를 보세요. <웃음> 코를 골다 is to snore. All right. A lot of good expressions to mention. Yeah, light sleeper, deep sleeper. Reading some comments here. Yeah, 40, uh, 50 something hours. Yes, that was during university. I did my part-time job in uh, in the, in the morning, I went to class, I did my part-time job, and then I went to dance practice. And the dance practice lasted until like 4 a.m. And then I, th I thought it was too late to go to bed. So I just stayed up, did my homework, and went to the next morning's morning class, and took three classes, went to my part-time job again, went to another dance practice. So I did that for... Uh, <laughs> more than two days so that's not good okay ah lee thank you for the super chat comment um how do you say sweet dreams like good night sweet dreams in korean sweet dreams you can say so i will give you various politeness levels like sweet dreams Obviously, this is pamal. You can't say this to your school principal or professor. You can't even say 잘 자세요 because 자다's honorific form is 주무시다. 주무시다. So, 안녕히 주무세요. 안녕히 주무세요 is what you say to somebody you have to speak formally with. Okay? And Kutbam is a very common expression among friends, casually. Kutbam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good night. Good night is also okay. Kutbam. Chalja. And 안녕히 주무세요. What else can you say? 좋은 꿈 꿔 or 좋은 꿈 꾸세요. These are Slight, I will put them in quotation marks because these are slightly more dramatic. You wouldn't say this verbally too often to someone or friends at least if you are not dating them or stuff like that. These are very romantic and dramatic. So mostly people say 잘자, 굿밤. I think I mentioned it before in a previous live session in Korea, many young Korean people in general, they use, they mix English in their Korean expressions quite often when, whenever it's awkward, when they feel awkward to say Korean words or native Korean expressions. So if you've heard other phrases that people say for good night, sweet dreams, let me know. I will verify for you, check and verify. 돼지 꿈 꾸세요. Um, 돼지, if you if you have a dream of pigs, maybe it's supposed to mean something good, but people don't wish you a pig dream. In most cases. 달달꿈 꿔. 
Maybe, I can guess what it means, but not something that I would say. Oh, midnight snack. Yeah, shit. How, do, how did we go from things related to um, the morning to good night and yashik? <laughs> when, when did we go there? Yeah, okay. There are, I guess they are related. Yashik. Ya means night and shik is food, eat. <laughs> the class has evolved. We're covering the whole day. Minus the actual day. <laughs> Everyone wants to sleep, maybe. Maybe that's what they're thinking about. So, 야식. 여러분, 야식 좋아하세요? 저는 야식 어, 안 좋아해요. <laughs> yeah, I don't like midnight snacks. Um, I mean, sometimes I do. Uh, I think two days ago on Sunday, we had some yashik, but... I don't feel very comfortable in the morning when I wake up, if I have yashik. Okay, maybe three, four more questions um, before I go, and I will call it a class. Yashik 먹고 싶어요? Somebody is snoring loudly, if, if you want to say that, uh, 코... 코를 고라요 is somebody snores 코를 시끄럽게 I honestly think all kinds of snoring are noisy and loud but if you want to emphasize that somebody's snoring is loud you can say 코를 시끄럽게 고라요 시끄럽게 is loudly in a loud fashion loud manner noisy manner so 시끄럽게 이야기해요 they're talking loudly, not in a positive way, but in a negative way. Chris White, thank you so much for the super chat comment. I will tell you, no more super chats from you because you've been giving us so many super chats. Thank you, please. Um, I appreciate it, but I'm. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to make you. I don't want to give you any more burden. So. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. 감사합니다. 이제 더안 보내셔도 괜찮아요. 정말 감사합니다. All right. Um, also, thinking of or talking about Super Chats, <clears throat> yesterday at 4 p.m. when we were doing the live session, we got a huge Super Chat of 100 pounds. And I told Aiden, Aiden 씨, 지금은 안 보고 계신가요? I told Aiden, who gave us the 100 pound super chat, that we would contact you through YouTube, but it turns out YouTube doesn't have the messaging feature. So you will have to contact us. I put a pinned comment for the previous live chat. Get in touch with us. Send us a comment so that we can visit you back or send us an Instagram DM or Twitter message so that we can get in touch with you. We will have to keep mentioning this until we find Aiden again. Megan Benjamin, thank you for the super chat comment. How do you say I take my dog out when I wake up? I take my dog out when I wake up. 저는 일어나면 강아지 산책을 this is what I would say. Uh, hangover. Let's talk about that later. So, I take my dog out when I wake up. When is usually in a dictionary translated to te, il te, and it is correct. So, generally when you're talking about so-and-so, when so-and-so, you use te, but when you talk about things you do in... Um, some sort of a sequence, you often use 면 too. 면 originally means if, but in this case, it doesn't have to be translated to if. Think of a logic chart. If this happens, then this happens. If this doesn't happen, this, this happens, right? So when I wake up, 
you know, goes this direction. 일어나면 저는 일어나면 or you can add 아침에 저는 아침에 일어나면 when I wake up as soon as I wake up 강아지 dog you can say 개 too but because the word 개 itself is associated with so many bad words in Korean so many swear words even with an, a 10 year old dog people say 강아지 puppy because they don't they want to avoid saying 개 산책을 시켜요 시키다 is to make somebody or something do something 산책 is a stroll or a walk 강아지 산책을 시켜요 저는 일어나면 강아지 산책을 시켜요 one more time 저는 일어나면 강아지 산책을 시켜요 you can say 일어나자마자 to as soon as yeah 일어나자마자 I put 일어나면 because it's not as soon as you know 일어나면 alright Oh, Sungjin, Dejikum Kuseo from Billy San Um, yeah, I think it depends on the context. If Billy introduced an expression, there must have been a reason, a good reason. But I normally don't say Dejikum Kuseo to somebody that I know. So that's what I would say. Puffy eyes. Okay, so hangover and puffy eyes. These are the last two expressions that I will cover in today's live class and we'll call it a day and come back, okay? Hangover is 숙취 숙취 부, uh, I have to have puffy eyes 눈이 부었어요 So 숙취 is 취 취하다 is to be drunk to get drunk 숙취 Ah, uh, 술병 too, yeah. But it, there's a difference. So when you have a hangover, the English expression also means the alcohol's effect is hanging over to the next morning, right? And 숙취 means, 숙 is when you look at accommodations, hotels, and pensions, you see 숙박, 숙박. That 숙 means to stay or sleep. So the chi, chiki, chi, people say chiki too, the alcohol energy. <laughs> chi is staying with you. 숙취. 숙취가 있어요. 숙취가 심해요. People talk about whether you have a bad hangover the next morning, usually, or not. 저는 숙취가 별로 안 심해요. I don't have a crazy hangover the next day, but people do sometimes. You know, 숙취. 숙취가 심해요? 안 심해요. 숙취가 있어요? 없어요. 술병 is on a different level. When you have a hangover and you can still function, you can still go to work, you can still talk to your friends normally, but 술병, 술병이 났어요. Your, your I'm sick because of my hangover. So when you say 술병이 났어요, you, you can't go to work, you're calling in sick, yeah, you, you can't do anything. Okay? Puffy eyes, um, you have... Uh, so 부었어요 means it, they're swollen. Swollen. 눈이 부었어요. Swollen. 얼굴이 부었어요. Puffy face. 얼굴이 부었어요. Uh, Mercedes, um, do I drink well? <laughs> I have good genes for drinking alcohol. I'll just say that. <laughs> I won't reveal whether I drink a lot or you know anything else. I have good genes for... My, my father gave me good genes for drinking. Good, okay. That's it for this lesson. One hour just flew by. 정말 감사합니다. Thank you for joining today. And I really enjoy talking with you guys. And I just still can't believe how many people tune in to actually study Korean. This is not 
a mukbang. This, I'm not like reviewing snacks or I'm not like entertaining you guys. You are actually studying and isn't it crazy and miraculous that so many people are actually studying, studying, studying every day. And I see so many people sharing their progress, their, their efforts on social media. Social media is for usually for distractions. You don't want to do anything productive, so you take to social media. Isn't that what social media is designed for? They want your attention. They want to suck your attention. But on the talk to me in Korean side of the social media world, I see so many people being very productive and doing fruitful things. That's amazing. Instagram, 네. Ah, by the way, we have a new Instagram account, Titimik Nulja, right? I'm sure many of you are already following that account. I'm not managing that account at all. We have our designer, one of our designers, Poram, managing that account. So I gave her full freedom, like do whatever you want with it. And she's coming up with some really good ideas um, that I might steal from the account in the future. 그럼 다음 시간에 만날까요? 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요.